So in this video, it's been on the internet for like 10, 12 days. Three Detroit rappers came up missing. They had a show. They showed up. The show was canceled. And they ain't been seen since. Let's get into it. Date on the investigation? Yeah, I tell you what, we literally just heard about it less than an hour ago from Chief White himself updating us on the investigation. But as the chief pretty much said, and I'll reiterate now, uh, there are still a lot more questions to be answered. Wish we had more information. It's not for lack of trying. There are a number of police agencies trying to find three men, three rappers who were last seen about 10 days ago. They believe that these rappers were last seen at a club, Lounge 31 on the east side of Detroit. They're car was found in one but where the so as i said they was booked to do this show they showed up the show was canceled then they disappeared the car was found connection is that remains a mystery real quick we're looking for 38 year old now armani kelly's from oscoda and then 31 year old montoya uh, montoya gibbons from detroit and dante wickers from melvindale let's all look let's look at the chief right now because he outlines a number of concerns take a listen there are some pieces of the case that are very concerning one being uh that the vehicle was located uh and warned that, that they were driving the police were able to get three search warrants out quickly and then they got phone records and we were able to pull phone data and see that there's no activity on any of their phones they're not hitting any towers they're not communicating um that's also very concerning more concerns but the working theory is now that all three of the men did so since they went missing in january 21st their phones ain't been working it's the club they showed up show was canceled so if you're from the hood you pretty much know what this is they've been canceled you know i think some dudes out of san diego pulled this before they hired they booked boogie he showed up there was no show and they just checked him you know what i'm saying but Detroit players, you got some explaining to do. Make it to Lounge 31 to perform some rap show, but that show got canceled. That's the theory. Um, we know right now that they were together at some point, all three. Um, we know that at this point that the event was canceled at Lounge 31. Uh, what we don't know completely is what happened from that point and if they left together or, or what. And we also don't know why that rap show was canceled. Again, there are still a lot more questions to be answered. Now, Chief White hesitating a little bit. There may be some more news uh, out of that warren where that car was found. It was found in, found in an apartment building. There are still questioning uh, people over there. But the chief wanted to emphasize that the most important thing and the most troubling thing, the fact that within the last 10 days, no social media communication and no phone communication from the these three that's very troubling one other thing the chief wants to make it known that if anybody out there has any I mean, information if you're from the hood you basically know what this is you know them dudes they no longer with us and we definitely have the update here we go let's get to it let's keep it moving as they say we're going to start local four news at six with breaking news from highland park where three bodies have been found inside an apartment building jacqueline francis is live jacqueline this may be connected to the search for those three rappers who disappeared almost two weeks ago right yeah we're getting more information by the minute here you can see it's still a very active scene we've got the main crime scene over here but first i want to start with two state police troopers there hey detroit just to let y'all know this case will be wrapped up and solved. Y'all see y'all boy speaking with the state police. I, I hope, I hope they gave him some uh, protective services or some, uh, you know, whatever they do for y'all federal informants. Cause oh yeah, that ain't that's more than I don't know nothing right there talking with a gentleman on the scene here you can look over here and this is where the police tape is police sources say they believe the bodies found are those of the missing rappers this uh news lady she probably worked with somebody from the hood or got a little hood boy because she definitely made sure she showed her the news to do talking to the police she tried to get somebody killed out here 
We've also learned that police have reached out to the mother of one of those missing rappers to alert her of the discovery of the bodies. The three rappers have been missing since January 21st. They were supposed to perform at a Detroit club, but the performance was canceled. That's when they disappeared. We've been reporting on this all week. And again, it was just this evening that we found out that three bodies were discovered in an abandoned apartment building. And police sources are telling us that they believe those bodies are those of the missing rappers. Again, still a very active scene. Michigan State Police is assisting DPD on this investigation. And they recently uh, just tweeted out that they're waiting on, on getting a search warrant so that they can go in and... Listen, they made sure they got that dude back there talking to them police on camera. They made sure. I thought you were supposed to protect witnesses, but... I guess this channel four, they don't care. They they letting the world know. But if you're a supporter of the channel, much love and respect. And if you're a hater, cut the shit. It's me, Tommy Springfield, aka the King of Talk. Out. Search the uh, the abandoned apartment building. So again, you can see new information developing pretty much every minute here. We'll stay on scene and bring you the latest. Reporting live, Jacqueline Francis, local four. Yeah. So